Hello, this is Jacob Fry with Frytech IT Services. This is a video that I'm creating for refurbishing a machine. This is an old uh, Dell desktop. This is actually the second uh, video for the installation process. In the first video, I prepped the motherboard. And this one, I'm actually going to install the motherboard. I'm going to install a video card. I'm going to install a uh, expansion Ethernet card because the original one on the board does not work correctly. And I think that's it. I think that's all I'm going to do on this video. So let me go over a few things here. All right, here's the case. Uh, I've got the front off of it, the DVD drive out, everything. It's pretty much a bare case. The thing you're going to want to look for is your uh, wiring coming out of the front, you're going to have USBs, audio, and power switch and everything. So this yellow cable down here in the corner is a USB, or actually this is audio, I'm sorry. Uh, this white one is a USB connection, this green one's a USB connection, and this black one here is the front panel, uh, power switch, LED, and all that stuff. So thing you're going to want to look at here is your screw holes. You've got three screw holes here, and you've got three screw holes here, and two at the very bottom. This is a standard ATX setup for a motherboard. Uh, you need to make sure that your motherboard is compatible with your case. Uh, a lot of cases come where they will fit all sorts of different types of boards. They'll have screw holes all down in here, and they'll have little uh, pieces of metal that you screw down in here that will stand the motherboard up off of the the bottom here of the case and that's what you screw it to so you have to actually have to screw those in but this particular one you don't have to do it because it's uh, it's prefabbed for this um, you've got your IO panel back here this is for this motherboard uh, these will pop out and you can swap out motherboards by putting in a different IO panel that will match up to your different IO outputs here on the back of your motherboard um, here is your PCI or expansion slots right here uh, all the pieces of metal are gone, and I've actually taken the clip off. Uh, normally, this clip will go on here with a screw on it, and I've already got that out of the way. So, let me go ahead and install this motherboard into here. Uh, oh, the other thing that you want to look at is right here on the motherboard, down here at the, the bottom, is you have... Let me get my cord untangled here is you have a yellow plug-in, a blue plug-in, a white plug-in, a green one, and a black one. And that corresponds to the cables that were right here in the case. The only one that's not going to be used is this blue one. And this blue one's just a spare USB. If you had like a, an expansion card that had USB or um, any other thing that had an inside connection, like a motherboard connection to it, you could plug it in there. So those are the things that you need to look out for. So all you're going to do on this is take the motherboard and you're going to slot it down into the, the I.O. holes here, input output holes, right here on this piece of aluminum. And when you do that, all your screw holes will line up once you get everything into place. Uh, make sure you're not laying it on top of all these cables, which I just did for a second. And slide it in and you look down here and you look down in here the uh, IO connections are all the way in they're sticking out the back properly like, like they're supposed to nothing's overlapping nothing's inside the Ethernet or the USBs uh, sometimes they have clips that can get in the way piece of metal that put pressure on it all my screw holes here are lining up just like they need to so I'm just going to drop the screws in this and get it set down uh, and then connect these I.O. connections. And then we'll put in the expansion cards real quick. So the screws are just standard screws, Phillips screws, or I think it's a quarter inch socket. As well, you can use either one, whichever one you prefer. And I never screw these all, uh, all the way down um, at first. 
I always wait to do that at the end to make sure that the motherboard's in alignment with everything and that all your screws fit easily. You don't want screws going in sideways and stripping out screw holes or anything like that. Uh, they shouldn't take any excessive force to put in, not unless you've got a bad screw hole. If you do, the best thing to do is just not to put that screw in um, because you don't really need all let's see eight of these screws in here it, I mean it's not 100% necessary so if you got a stripped out hole it's just best not to use that particular hole or that particular screw down now a good way to put these screws in I figured out is you put them on the end of the screwdriver like this and you can point down here and you just pretty much point it straight to the hole and then it goes right in it's kind of an easier way than laying them in and try to fumble with them Sometimes you can get them started with your hands, but a bunch of different ways to do it. But always put tension towards the I.O. panel in the back of the computer. You want it to go towards that. Um, sometimes it'll have pieces of metal here that keep tension on it that get in the way. Um, but there you go. That gets all of your screws down. So make sure they're all tightened properly. It's always best to double check these things instead of getting in here and having those components. There you go. So those are all in. Now what I'm going to do is uh, plug these connections in and all you do is these things are keyed. Um, they've got one pin missing in them so they only fit in one way and these particular ones are color coded so it's really really easy plug these in and plug them into the correct hole. Alright, once you have all those plugged in, the next thing that I'm going to do is plug in the video card. Now the video card goes into the PCI Express 16X slot, which is this slot right here. And then I'm going to put in that expansion Ethernet card, which I'm going to just put in the next available slot right here. So pretty much you just make sure that your metal brackets are out of the way. Uh, there's none in here. I've already taken them out. So pretty much it's just line it up, push it down on both of them, and make sure that the clip will fit on here correctly, that all your clips are lined up with these holes so that everything fits nice and snug. So you just take the video card right here, uh, just line it up with a slot and push it straight down. It's got a key in it. Uh, just like everything, everything's keyed to fit only in one type of slot. Uh, you can't put this in the wrong slot. And you just line it up, put it in and push it down. And once it's seated in, same thing with this PCI. This has actually got the two keys in it. It'll only fit in this one particular slot. And even though this slot doesn't have two keys in it, uh, if you notice from earlier, it is this is a standard PCI. This uh, they had all different types of PCI slots, and um, you know the keys are in sometimes in different places and things like this. But this is definitely a standard PCI card. And boom, that goes in. And then the last thing that you're going to want to do is put this piece of metal on, and uh, all it does is got two clips that slide in the metal and slide straight down and then you take uh, one screw pop one screw in the top and you're ready to roll well that's all I'm going to install on this particular video that gets your motherboard in it gets your uh, your USBs and all your front panel stuff connected to the motherboard your video card in and any expansion cards Hopefully you were able to learn from this video and be able to do this for yourself if you need to, or at least just gain some knowledge from it. So please visit me at www.frytechit.com.